What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful spring day here in Tennessee. Uh, it's May, mid-May, so it's probably almost summer, but surprisingly enough, I think we found some fish on bed at this pond. Now, the area that I live in, almost all the water is private. It's hard to access, but found this little gem with my buddy Cody. He actually let me know about it uh, when I first moved here a few years ago, so shout out to you, Cody. But uh, usually this is a good place to go during the spawn. It's a good place all year round, but it's a really fun place to bed fish, so we might be able to do that some of that today. I've already seen some fish up shallow, but we're just gonna try to figure them out. We're gonna tie three baits on to start with. I'll show you guys the baits here. So we're gonna start out with good old wacky worm. We're also gonna be throwing the buzz bait around. And I'll give you guys a little tip around the spawn for the buzz bait. And then we're gonna have the Texas rig. If I do find one on bed, I'll be able to pitch these couple out there. Um, but So three baits, a little pond. Should be a good video. Hope you guys enjoy. <clears throat> now, like I mentioned, I've already seen some fish kind of scooting around up shallow, so I think there may be some on bed, but I think we also have some fry garters. So um, I've got a little polarized lens here on the camera. So I'm hoping you guys might be able to see if I do find a bed fish. I'm hoping you guys will be able to see it, but there's no guarantee. So let's get to it. You can see a fish hanging around like literally right in front of me. I don't know if it's on a bed or not. There we go. Oh no. That ain't good. I think that fish was on bed over there. I hate that. Dang it. What is my deal with losing fish on that rod? Yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see him or not, but I do have a fish on what I believe is on bed here. Pretty locked on, so we should be able to catch him. Alright, he just bit it. He's not very big, but All right, we're back in business. Let's get back on these fish. There we go. Oh man. Definitely thought I had that one. It was pretty locked though. We'll come back. That's over two. That's not good. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. This fish is nosing down on it. You gonna pick it up? She's reacting to it. One of the things I've done on the Texas trick here is I put a little flipping bead. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It just brings a little bit more noise to that, that really simple bed fishing rig and sometimes I wonder if that will kind of take them off a little bit more. This fish is going to bite. Just don't know how long it's gonna take. This is one who's very aggressive, so I'm going to be 
more aggressive in the way I fish for her. Probably a hen, actually. She ate it. Okay, so what I did there, I actually hit the fish, physically hit it with the bait just to try to tick it off. And the fish swirled on it, looking at it. Sometimes these real aggressive ones, you can make them bite by beating them up a little bit, like this one. She's just reacting every time the bait is anywhere near the bed. She actually bit it then as well. Now I could be throwing a white bait right now, but I don't really need to on this fish. She's going to eat it and take it off the bed, so we're gonna give her a chance to do that. I mean, this is basically the dream when you bed fish you want you want a fish this aggressive like there she goes she bit it she bit it but she didn't pick it up at some point i'll just decide it's just time to beat her up until she eats gosh she is not happy with this thing all right, she bit at that time in midair, which was kind of cool. Come back, where'd you go? There you are. There we go. Saw her swim off with it. Ain't a bad one. Not a bad one at all. But you guys see she was just barely hooked and she's been caught before. But that is a very pretty fish. Decently built, probably midway spawning, you know. And what we're gonna do, put him or her, let's see, that's probably the female that's maybe just spawned out, I'm not sure, but right back very quickly so she can go back to doing her thing. Now, I'm not exactly sure where this bed is, but I'm seeing two fish kind of swim in and out of it, so probably not gonna spend too much time on these. One of them is a little bigger, so. So I told you guys I'd give you a little nugget about the buzz bait around the spawn. Around the spawn in particular, and I, maybe this is just me, I throw a buzz bait with a skirt and no trailer. Now, I don't know what it is, but my theory is there's a bit bigger of a profile, a bit bulkier with that big skirt, depending on what kind of trailer you throw. So when the fish come up and get it, if they're on a bed and they're a little bit finicky, they're gonna try, they're, they have much more to bite, I guess. The, the, what they're actually gonna hit, you know, if they wanna hit this right here, they've got the hook. Meanwhile, if you've got a trailer coming off a few inches back here, they might go for the legs and miss the hook. I don't know if that actually makes any sense, but it's been my experience. Um, I won a club tournament on a black buzz bait with no skirt around the spawn last year. So I've kind of keyed in on that little detail. Let's see. Okay, so what I just did there. Switched out the... I had a June bug yum dinger on there. Just switched it out for a Yamamoto because that yum, they're so light, they take forever to sink. These Yamamotos, they sink at a really good rate. I'm wondering if I just need to try a different Cinco on this fish. There we go, got her. There we go. Finally. Go back out that way. Come back. Come back. Alright. Not a big one. Probably 14, 15 inches. But, and by the way, 
I've had to go into the water a few times to get my bait and snag from these rocks, but another one on the Senko. Yeah, pretty fish. Another one probably, you know, mid-spawn maybe, um, which is why we are literally going to walk out to her bed and put her right back where she was. That's how you do it. I guess I see you tomorrow at gym. Dang it. There's... Oh gosh, there we go. Buzz bait. That scared the crap out of me. That's probably the biggest one of the day. Buzz bait, ha ha. Nice one on the buzz bait, thank you. Whoa, quick release, bye-bye. Here we go. All right, so I don't actually know if the fish went for it that time or if I just hopped it up right in front of him and happened to hook him because I actually hooked him outside of the mouth. So that would not count in a tournament, but it counts today. Thanks, buddy. Quick release. Bye. And that is the power of the Ned on bedfish. Sometimes they will just hook themselves. There we go. Finally. That's all it takes sometimes. So I believe this is the male on this bed. And the female is pretty big. So what I'm going to do, just walk down here just a little bit. Put this fish back over here. Not too far away. But hopefully he takes a few minutes to back up, get back over there, and hopefully the female will swim over here and we can catch the female. Well guys, that's going to do it for today's video, so thank you for watching. I had a really fun time filming that, you know, hitting up a pond, doing some bed fishing. Uh, it's like mid-May, so it's a little weird for those fish to be on bed, but... Uh, that's what time they were on bed there last year, so I figured I'd go check it out and uh, bring you guys along. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one.